Today, we're going to look at another three rudiments called the single paradiddle, the double paradiddle, and the paradiddle diddle. All three stickings are excellent for developing your hands in terms of coordination, and they also allow us to play some interesting phrases, both in terms of grooves and fill or solo ideas. Let's go back a little bit and just remind ourselves what a single paradiddle looks and sounds like first. We saw this rudiment very early on in the warm-up lesson, so for now, let's just recap. Here it is written on the snare drum. It's a combination of two single strokes, right, left, followed by a double, right, right, then reversed, two single strokes, left, right, followed by a double, left, left. Many people say that when you play a single paradiddle, it sounds the way it is played. Pa, ra, sounding like single strokes, and de, do, sounding like double strokes. This is often a handy way to memorize stickings. Exercise 1. 1, 2, 3, 4. Play this single paradiddle until you've memorized it, and then we can play it using different parts of the kit. Here's a groove using just the toms. Exercise 2. 1, 2, 3, 4. Here's the same exercise with the snare drum substituted for the high tom on beat 3. This means your non-lead hand will play the high tom, then snare, then high tom again. Exercise 3. 1, 2, 3, 4. We can even use this as a funk type groove using hi-hat, snare drum and bass drum. To really make this exercise groove, I'll also try and play beats 1 and 3 of each bar slightly accented or louder than all the other notes. Exercise 4 1, 2, 3, 4 Once you've got the hang of both the tom type groove and the funk type groove, how about joining them together? Exercise 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. Here's the same groove with a different fill idea. This time the right hand travels around the toms and the left hand stays on the snare. Exercise 6 1, 2, 3, 4 There are many, many ways to play a single paradiddle around the drums. But once you're happy playing the exercises here, go on and try to invent some orchestrations and experiment with different rhythm and fill ideas of your own. Okay, now it's time to have a look at our next rudiment. It's called a double paradiddle and it's made up of two lots of single strokes. Right, left, right, left and then a double stroke, right, right, and is then reversed with another two lot of single strokes, left, right, left, right, and then a double, left, left. 
If we use the same phonetic type of phrase for the double that we used for the single partidal, we'd now be saying pa ra pa ra de do pa ra pa ra de do because the double partidal has six notes in its sequence. It's ideal for playing triplets, which will enable us to devise some new ideas for our triplet vocabulary. Exercise 7 One, two, three, four. The key to learning these types of sticking patterns is to repeat them over and over again so that you no longer really think about the sticking. Instead, it's almost as if your hands are playing the pattern because the information is stored in your limbs. In order to achieve that level of automation, you may have to play something literally thousands of times. So be patient and take your time. Once you've got the double paradiddle memorized, have a go at trying similar orchestrations that we've used for the single paradiddle. Exercise 8 1, 2, 3, 4 Exercise 9 1, 2, 3, 4 Exercise 10 1, 2, 3, 4 Finally, here's the paradiddle diddle. From the phonetic type theory that we've used before, it should be clear that we've now got two single strokes, right, left, followed by two double strokes, right, right, left, left. Exercise 11. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now go ahead and apply the same groove and fill ideas we've been using so far to orchestrate on the kit. It's also worth trying to play this rudiment reversed as well. Left, right, left, left, right, right. As you never know when it may come in handy for a particular movement on the kit. When you've got the grips with the paradiddle diddle, you may end up with something like this. Exercise 12. 1, 2, 3, 4. Different types of sticking are a great way to come up with new ideas on the kit and therefore combining groups of singles and doubles in various paradiddle patterns is a great way to expand your drumming vocabulary, allowing you to say more on the instrument. The world's greatest drummers vary their stickings often to allow them to voice great ideas with seemingly effortless precision. Follow their lead and try to work out your favourite drummer's sticking ideas and then expand upon them with your own new inventions. Good luck and bye for now.